coffee. Oh uh, yeah. Get your exactly. get your or tea. Your, your cup of water. Your tea or your Starbucks cup. Water. <laughs> nice. I just pretend. It's fancy water. It's fancy water. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 45 of the On Air Advocate, where at the On Air Advocate, we look to provide education, support, and empowerment for all of those with different abilities, mental and medical illnesses, and their caregivers. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Tammy Flynn, and I am the host and producer of the On Air Advocate, and I am super excited that all of you are here with us this early morning, or if you are catching this video on the replay. Now, as always over here at the on air advocate if you feel that any of the information that we are giving could be beneficial please make sure that you share the love and hit the share button so that everybody can learn and grow from it so with that and summer being here i wanted to make sure that we got miss carla who's here with us this morning on as soon as possible because <laughs> summer is kind of in full swing now. I think we've all started that yeah. first week of it. And this phenomenal nonprofit organization, I just think is fabulous. And so I wanted Carla to have the opportunity to share it with everybody. It's called My Team Triumph. And it is a national organization. So though Carla's here from Wisconsin, because that's where we are and it's rainy and cold, but it's still a good day. <laughs> a great day. It's a great day. Um, you can take advantage of this great program anywhere, um, basically in the United States. So yes. you're going to lend a little bit more information sure. to that. So welcome this morning. Hi! <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Everybody's like, awesome. they've had too much coffee or caffeine <laughs> or something already because we're going 7-10. In the morning, this is just how it is. It's annoying and it's like bubbly, and I've got my coffee, and it's a I great know. day. I I'm so say happy here. that you know that everyone's energy isn't for everyone else, but I'm it, it's true. Positivity, <laughs> going for the morning. Like I said, it's tough cookie Tuesday. It's tough great. cookie Tuesday. I love that. No, it is a great day, and I'm just so. I just feel blessed and I'm just so happy to be here with you today and, and able to share what it is that we do with people here in Wisconsin and really all over the United States. Um, awesome. Yeah. So you are in the Lake Geneva area. Is that correct? Right, right. Yes. Myself, I'm in this area. Yep. And I know that there's a pretty big program that happens out here. There now, is. I'm not sure, you know, for the other areas of Wisconsin, we can kind of tackle that as yep. well if you're in the Milwaukee area or Racine, yep. Kenosha counties, those kind of things. Yeah. So I guess maybe let's just back up and just talk, my team triumph, what that, what that Perfect. is, you know, maybe just a little background of how this started. So um, there is a father-son team um, called Team Hoyt. And that's really what gave us this idea of my team triumph. Team Hoyt is a father-son duo. Um, the father uh, just enjoyed running and, and athleticism. His son is wheelchair bound and took his son out one day, um, started running and his son felt free. He could tell that his son just loved this experience of being out and being a part of, of this community, the running community and just in these athletics. And so they really started, um, this whole idea of this duo team athlete, this duo athlete team sort of thing in these in the events like a 5K or a half marathon or uh, Ironman, which is a triathlon, triathlons and mm -hmm. things. So this father-son duo team really just started and, um, you know, just a personal thing that they would do together. Um, fast forward years later and this idea of my team triumph is kind of born um, from our national director. And, uh, you know, he was going through some life things and it just led him down this, this path where he said, I see someone <laughs> that has a disability. Um, they shouldn't be excluded from these, from participating right. in stuff, right? Mm -hmm. He just saw a, a big, a big divide between what was happening in the community and what people with disabilities were able to do. And mm -hmm. just, he's a, he's a Christian man and a faithful man and just really thought and prayed on this. And, and my team triumph is now born. So in 2008, we have a man here in Wisconsin. His name, he's from Lake Geneva, actually. Uh, his name, yeah, he's from <laughs> he's Lake Geneva Badger Badger kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, his name is Christian Jensen and went to school up at UW Oshkosh. He was going through some life things. Um, and he ended up in Green, in Green Bay, Wisconsin here. And he uh, was really into like health and fitness, personal trainer kind of guy. So he starts working at Bell and Healthcare. 
Um, I'm not sure if you're from, from familiar with Bellin Health. Um, it's like the Aurora, you know, that right. kind of stuff, Aurora Healthcare things. So the Bellin Healthcare system, he started working there uh, as a personal trainer. He's real like, oh, excited, mm -hmm. right? Like right out of college. He gets a call from a woman named Mary. And Mary calls him and says, I want to get stronger. Uh, I want to lose some weight. Can we meet? So he's pumped, right? This is his first mm -hmm. client out of college. Mary comes in riding on her husband's back. And he was like, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do with this. You know, like what, tell me what's going on here. Um, like why are you riding your husband's back? Uh, and you know, she's like, well, um, this is as much as I can do. I can move my arm three inches to the side. Um, but I'm sick of sitting in my house. I want to do something. Right, I want to, yeah, okay. I want to try to get stronger. I, I'm sick of sitting in my house. I want to be out. I want to do something. And so um, this was really Christian's first experience with someone who had a disability. Uh, for many people who are able-bodied, um, there's not a lot of interaction that happens, you know, in our schools and the, just in general. So for him, this was his first real interaction. And he just really got to know Mary. And they said, okay, let's you know, regroup. Uh, I can't train you. We can't do burpees. We can't do squats. We can't, you know, we can't do this stuff. Um, what can we do? And so his, his brain changed from what can't I do with her as a personal trainer to what can I do with Mary? Mm -hmm. And you know, through going to know her, they started talking about this big race that happens in Green Bay called the Bell and Run. It's a 10K event, huge event. This year, there were like over 12,000 people that ran in this 10K six mile race. So they're talking, just having a you know, friendly conversation. And she said, oh, my whole family is running in this Bellin race, this Bellin run. And he said, oh, well, would you like to run in it too? And she was like, I can't walk. <laughs> and so in a child stroller, he, he sat Mary down in it. They had to like tie her legs into this child's running stroller. She's, you know, 30 pounds over the weight limit. They're just praying that the stroller doesn't explode. <laughs> You know, and they did the six mile race and, you know, they were in the back of this event with the moms and the strollers and everyone's like, Oh, look how nice this is. And, you know, mm -hmm. thinking it's like this cutesy thing. But what was happening was while they were running, there was a, this real reaction taking place from people on the course and people were out there running and seeing that something really special was happening between Christian and Mary and this community. Right. And you know, people are passing them. And instead of people now looking away from Mary and maybe avoiding it because, you know, you, 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 you avoid or you're fearful of what you don't know. You know, mm -hmm. you see someone in a wheelchair and, and you're not sure what you should say. Can they talk? Can they mm -hmm. not talk? What am I going to say to them? I don't want to be offensive. So you just avoid. And so instead of being avoided now, Mary is being celebrated. People are cheering for Mary. People are happy. She's a part of that yeah. experience with them. Mm -hmm. They're having their own experience. Uh, with it. Um, and they crossed the finish line and <laughs> Mary said, Oh my gosh, I feel free. And that was it. That was the moment that changed, uh, for Christian and his wife. And they said, there's gotta be more people that we can bring this to. Mm -hmm. And so now we have my team triumph in Wisconsin. And, um, you know, we went from that first race 10 years ago with our executive director, Christian Jensen and his wife, Tiffany and Mary, and this year, uh, just last weekend, we were at the same race and had 42 of these racing wheelchairs with a team of nearly 120 athletes oh helping them goodness. get to that finish line. Um, just powerful, just spectacular. So, um, you know, my team Triumph, we, we are involved in athletics. <laughs> we are involved in these endurance events, uh, running races, triathlons, but we are far from a running club or an athletic club. Mm -hmm. Um, we really, uh, we, we, we use these endurance athletics to build relationships. Um, there's something very special that happens on a race course when you are in one of these races. You just, you have a bond and a connection with people around you. Um, you're kind of all in an extreme situations. Right, <laughs> you're right. tired, you know, you're, you're tired, your body hurts. There's, there's things, there's a journey that kind of takes place from start to finish line. Mm -hmm. And what we like doing is bringing people together to experience that journey together, regardless of what your ability might be. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's people, um, we have captains. Those are our athletes with disabilities. And those captains range from um, a, a vet who has PTSD and can run a marathon, but just needs, you know, some help getting from start to finish, you know, having a really great time. Uh, 
that it could be someone like it could be someone with a very severe cognitive disability or physical disability as well. Um, Which is athlete. what I absolutely love. Yes, I it's out about <laughs> organization. I'm like, it seriously is for everybody. It's for everybody. And it's for everybody. Work. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and you know, and we will we will figure out a way to help our captains participate. So if there are special circumstances, uh, you need special Accommodation. equipment, accommodations. Uh, we do our absolute best to figure out how to make that happen for now, our captains. What are the areas? Because okay, so we have the captains yep. and we have the angels, right? We have angels. Yep. The angels are able-bodied athletes and those athletes as well. Um, you do not need to be a super athlete to participate with us <laughs> um, by any means. Um, we have, we have people who say, I can't, I can't run, but I can walk a 5k. We're like, mm-hmm. great. You can help. Come, come help and walk that 5K. We have some supermen out there that are like this, like so fast, like, ooh, you know, guys and gals. And that's awesome too. Um, what's great about this is that every single person is celebrated for the abilities that they do have uh, and not turned away for the abilities that, that they don't. Um, it really is a celebration of, mm-hmm. of everyone. And um, it's, really, it's really special when you get those those relationships, you know, you can see them <laughs> starting so and we forming have the, and building. The, the kids are the adults that have the different abilities. They are the captains. Mm-hmm. The people yep. who are guiding them through these different yes. courses and processes are the angels to be are the angels. support um, mm-hmm. for that. And then what areas of athletics do you guys go through? Because I know that we've kind of chatted about that before. Um, you guys are, you do biking, right? Right. So we do, (laughs) we do as many as we can. And what's fun right now is we've really experienced a lot of growth over these last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Um, And so now we're, we're really able to expand. So we've started mainly with road races. So your 5Ks, 10Ks, you know, you, you see them in your community all the time, you know, charity runs. Um, We do half marathons, full marathons, triathlons. Uh, We have, okay, we have a, a, wide array of equipment. We have tandem bikes, which is really cool, special tandem bikes, um, where the person in the back, the angel is providing the, the motion and the power for the bike. Um, and the captain would sit in the front and can mimic that motion if they wanted to with the pedals. Um, but again, all of the steering and, and, you know, the momentum is coming from the angel behind, uh, which is a really cool thing. Um, that's one of my favorites, actually, these tandem bikes that we have, because we have so many of our captains that, have never experienced that feeling of riding a bicycle. Mm-hmm. And it's something that I certainly would take for granted. I mean, you know, my kids, you know, we just hop on the bike and we right. go. And it's just, a, it's for a lot of people, that's a part of your childhood. <laughs> you know, when you think about, oh, I rode my bike everywhere. And we have just so many captains that just didn't, they never were allowed that experience um, to sit on a bike. And so we'll have some adult captains who are like in tears because like, I never thought, I, you know, I never had this feeling before <laughs> of riding a bike. And so I love that. Uh, we have special, um, well, I said we do, we are in triathlon, so we have special rafts. So what uh, would happen is our captain would sit in the raft. They are tethered to a swimmer and the, the swimmer angel would pull through the water. Mm-hmm. Um, but we like to do lots of fun things. So we were out in Lake Geneva, actually. And one of our captains, she's younger and saw a group of paddle boarders kind of going by, right? Like that stand up, like paddleboard yeah. thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, made a phone call and said, how can we, how, she wants to paddleboard. How can we make this happen? And then, I mean, within a week we had this team of paddleboarders out there. They had brought this super like big board that was probably used for something else, but we were able to put our raft on top of it, put mm-hmm. our captain in there, and then she could go and, and paddleboard. So we're mm-hmm. continually looking for things that we can do, um, in our communities. It's, it's amazing to me how many, how limited the opportunities really are, Mm -hmm. (laughs) um, for our community, uh, for people with disabilities. Um, and I just, we just do whatever we can to open up those doors and to bring people together. So kind of the things that going on, you have the paddle, you can do the paddle boarding now. Yeah, it's just, have kind of like raft pulling, you have biking, and biking. kind of a run, walk. And obviously yep. as more things get presented, you can add those on. Now in other states, is that the same or does some other states have different things just because of their resources? <laughs> yep. So we are very blessed here in Wisconsin. Um, we're, and we're very proud. We are the largest 
chapter of the My Team Triumph organization as a whole. We, yes. <laughs> We're very, pr we're very proud of this. Um, <laughs> not that we're competitive, but we're very proud <laughs> of this. Um, yeah, we, uh, here in Wisconsin, we are the largest. So we do um, kind of test the waters on a lot of these additional things like to try um, them out here because you are a large chapter and we are large and, and we do have the support system to, to do that um, we are mainly just uh, road races in other areas and biking so we have specialized racing wheelchairs that we use uh, the very sophisticated pieces of equipment and the majority of those racing chairs are able to hook onto the back of a bicycle so in most of our st most states I believe we're in nearly 30 states, uh, you would have the option to do the running or biking events with them. Okay. And yeah. what is the next largest chapter? Like what are, is there like a top five that you know? I know I'm just quizzing you on this and I didn't. Ah, I'm so bad with this. Um, and it's 724 in the morning. It's 724 and I'm only <laughs> halfway through my cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, our Michigan chapters, I know, are, are pretty large. Um, but, you know, we are, we're in Illinois as well. There's, a, there's an Illinois chapter. It was Chicago. Now it's grown to be Illinois. And mm -hmm. you can go online to myteamtriumph.org. That's the national website. And there is a listing of chapters there. So you can, you can see, you know, wherever you're at, whatever so state there you're are in. Some, are there some, though, scattered on the East Coast and the West Coast? Yep. Okay. So yes. they're just kind of scattered, though, between the states. There's they're scattered, you know, throughout the United States. We are in Canada as well. I think that we're officially international then, which is crazy. It's right. awesome. <laughs> it's official. We're in Canada. <laughs> yeah, myteamtriumph.org is the best way, really, if you're not in Wisconsin, just to take a peek and see, uh, you know, where you're at. It's listed alphabetically by state, uh, where you can, you know, who you can contact and how you can join. Um, here in Wisconsin, you can go on myteamtriumph-wi.org and uh, get all things My Team Triumph Wisconsin. Yeah, and we're gonna drop all those links yep. below this live. They will all be in yep. there. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, it will be right underneath our write up in there. So it won't be hard. You won't be having to search for where to go. No. Now, if there are parents or caregivers that are caring for their um, their loved one and they're sitting there thinking, oh, well, it sounds like it's adaptable, but I'm not sure. And maybe they're you know hooked up to different um, medical machinery or anything like that. Right. What is the best way for them to find out if those accommodations can be made. It kind of sounds like you guys can accommodate just about anything. But we if will, they're yeah. fearful <laughs> of the process, sure. um, you know, I know for myself, I had called and had a very long talk with Jeremy, who is yes. another person in our area here, just about my son, because he does have many physical abilities to be able to do, and looking at that Captain Angel and how that sits out, but really in talking to him, he reassured me that, you know, hey, you come out for a practice, and yeah. you know, you kind of see where that's at, right. and you guys make it work, which is right. fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, so the state, our state of Wisconsin is broken up into eight regions. Uh, each of our regions has its own leadership team and, and volunteer crew. Um, so every single, I think we are, every single day of the week except Sunday, uh, we have something going on here in the state. So the best way to really get involved, if you're, if you're concerned, you just, again, you want to feel it out, totally understand that. That's that's great, <laughs> um, is to join one of our local training runs. And again, we have those in all, all over the state. Uh, currently, our eight regions are Lake Geneva, mm -hmm. uh, Kenosha Racine is a region here, uh, Milwaukee, Madison area, Fox Valley area, um, Green Bay is where we started, out in Eau Claire, and in the North Central, um, wow, you're like Wausau Wisconsin, area. You have no reason to not get You have no reason. Volunteer, be an angel. Yes, we are we're all over. Out. We are all over. Yep. So again, you can go onto our website and look at our local training runs. Uh, sign up. Come on out. Uh, it is. There's no commitment um, to join our organization, which I think is really important. Um, so you can be as as involved or not involved as you really want in what fits with your schedule, uh, and that goes for our captains and our angels and volunteers. Uh, you can go online. You can see our local training runs. Um, what date and time they are. You can you know sign up for one of them. Show up if you like it keep coming out. Um, it helps us get to know the family, uh, our captain, what those needs are. 
uh, if you're feeling feisty and you want to do a race, then you go to our event list and you can sign up for one or 50 of our events, as many as you want to do, whatever, again, fits in with your schedule and your time. Um, there's no like sign here and you're, you're hooked for a year now, <laughs> you, know, you need to come to registering. Is there a registration mm -hmm. fee for that? There is not. No, absolutely not. So if you are a captain, it is completely free for you to do the training runs or the events. Uh, we try to make it as easy as we can. You would register with us. Uh, you don't need to say, you know, you say, oh, I want to do the Lake Geneva triathlon. Mm -hmm. uh, how am I going to do that? You simply go through our website. So you would go onto our website. We have an event list click on it and you walk through a registration process and you're done. From there, I handle everything else for you. So I make sure you're registered with that event. You're going to show up on race day. We're going to have a packet for you with, you know, your bib that those racers wear. <laughs> if you've ever seen one of those, you get your little yeah. number, um, your t-shirt. We handle everything for you. We bring all of the equipment, all of the, um, your angel team, everyone will be there waiting for you on race day. No fees at all. If you are an angel athlete, we do ask that you help fundraise for us. Um, mm -hmm. so if you, uh, and this, the, the price <laughs> I'm using air quotes, <laughs> if you can't see the price, <laughs> uh, is really based on the distance of event that you do. And it's comparable to what you would be paying in a registration fee if you were mm -hmm. signing up for that race anyway. Um, and those that, that fundraising can either be paid out of your pocket, um, or you can truly fundraise it. We set you up with an online fundraising page. You can share on your social media accounts through email. Uh, we try to, you know, give you tips and tricks um, to help you out with that if you're uncomfortable because not everyone is great and feels awesome asking for money <laughs> all right, the time. Right. Um, but no, we, we do rely a lot of, on our angels and their fundraising to help us continue to, you know, provide these inclusive opportunities for people. That is wonderful. And yeah. you know, I always tell people there is always a way to get involved And like looking at this organization. A lot of times when we think about nonprofits and yeah. we think about being involved that way, a lot of things are indoors that happen. I mean, this really touches the person who wants to be the sports person, the athlete yeah. that wants to be out there, that wants to be hands on yes. actively doing something also giving the opportunity that you could be a volunteer on the sidelines and then right. also giving the opportunity that if it's something you just want to make a donation to because you believe strongly in it, that everybody should have the opportunity to be able to yep. participate in these types of activities. You can make a donation. So, yeah, you know, and that's, what's great is you can donate and then participate in the experience, which is very unique. Mm -hmm. For our, you know, for our organization, um, we don't just say we, you know, give us your money and we're done, <laughs> and you never right. see where it goes. You can make a donation and show up on race day and really experience what's happening out on that course. And mm -hmm. and um, you know, it, and outside of that, we we do these races, we do these events. We in Wisconsin, we have 52 uh, events on our calendar for the season. So it's very, very busy. It's every weekend we're we're somewhere doing something. Uh, we don't put on our own events. Uh, we really want to be in the community, so we only participate in events that are already established in our communities. Uh, we are shoulder to shoulder with everyone else. We're not in the back um, with the stroller section. <laughs> That's not what we do. Uh, we, we like to start the races, so we are in the front. Um, and again, just shoulder to shoulder with everyone else in the community. Um, but we do a lot off the race course as well. And that's really my favorite part of this. Uh, I'm a mom. I've got a bunch of kids running around. And I've really noticed that there's a um, there's just a void in, in our schools. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I love getting out into our schools and talking to kids just about uh, finding ability through disability. Mm -hmm. um, what that means, uh, we would do inclusive things with these kids, inclusive track meets in our high schools, uh, where, you know, it's students with their fellow students coming together on a track and just participating and being together, experiencing each other, appreciating each other, celebrating each other. Um, we will go into businesses and do the same thing. Um, it, you know, businesses, they, they want their employees to be healthier, to live healthier lifestyles. Right. Uh, and we go in and, and, and we use this as a way to, to teach them and to help them just try to live healthier and not just health from a, I'm going to lose weight or health from, I'm going to count my calories, but true health, um, you know, mental, spiritual, physical health, um, as well. So uh, there's a lot going on 
It's not just race day. You can get involved in so many different ways. Uh, we have a lot of volunteers that are going into their communities, talking to boys and girls clubs, going to the YMCA and speaking, um, talking to their kids' classroom, uh, you know, bringing it into their own business and just letting people know about it. Uh, it, it you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who this is going to touch and who this right. is going to affect and, who, and whose life you can really change from this. Oh my goodness. Well, if that doesn't inspire everybody for Tuesday morning on my favorite Tough Cookie Tuesday, I don't know what will. And this is like the best way that I could have spent my 7 a.m. Oh, I'm so happy. Here. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. That, that is just, um, I think it's fabulous. We're going to get all the links posted, yes. how you can get involved. I know we're also going to drop a video below this live. So if somebody doesn't have the 33 minutes, or I think we hopped on a few minutes late, so <laughs> 28 minutes um, to listen to this interview. There will be a YouTube video below that's a little bit yep. less than five minutes that you can just hop on and watch and really get the, you know, the whole gist of what yes. my team triumph is all about. And yes. so I thank you so much for being oh, thank here you. With us this morning, Carla. If there's anything that you feel that you may have forgotten or that you want to note, um, you know, I just want to let the viewers know we're going to chat after this and we'll drop that below and make sure Perfect. that you guys have all of the information that you guys need to get started, whether you're an angel, a captain, or just a volunteer in the community. I think that this is a phenomenal um, national organization that everybody should take a little part of. So with that, that being said, I thank you all for joining us this early morning Tuesday for episode 45 <laughs> of the On Air Advocate. I want to let you all know, though, that we have a packed day of fun, empowerment, and support. As most of you know, or some of you know, we launched yesterday our On Air Advocate community. So make sure that you do not miss a minute of that. We have a phenomenal um, speaker and presenter coming up at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time today, and then another one again at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you missed it on any of our posts, Every single speaker this week inside of the community will be doing some giveaways. Mm -hmm. Prizes. Everybody loves prizes. <laughs> Things to go home with. So <laughs> on that note, thank you guys so much. You can find all of our information and all of our social media applications over at www.onairadvocate.com. Thank you guys so much. Have a fabulous morning. Bye-bye.